Hi, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. This is a web series, and it's about the movies. But before we get into the thing, I'd like to say something, you know, heart to heart to the people who work in post-production and uh, are responsible for removing frames from action sequences in, in, in modern uh, cinema. Stop. They've removed all the frames. Stop. If you keep removing frames, there won't be any frames. Therefore, no movies. So stop it. Just stop it. I'm your host this week. My name is Todd Anderson. I'm here with my fellow film pig, Steve Skelton. Hi. Over there. Steve Falk's not here. He's nope. busy working on some program for some network. I don't, I don't really understand um, how that stuff works. I live on the underground. But filling in for him is our guest co-host, Camden Singer. Hey, Camden. Hey, Yay. Camden. What's Hi. up? Uh, voice star of Annabelle is here. <laughs> Very exciting to have her. Mm -hmm. And our very special guest is Tess Barker. Hello. Yes. Co-host of the podcast, Lady to Lady. You should listen to it mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, wait she, for this show to be over. Well, yeah, yeah. When, once yeah. this show is over, immediately download that show. But first, focus on this one. This one is the most important. Um, hey, guys. Let's hey. toast some popcorn. A little toasty. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Clankies and clankies. Mm -hmm. Mine does have tequila, mm -hmm. then I swear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not water. That's real, actual popcorn. It's just butterfree. Uh, courtesy of Lauren September. Oh, lovely. Oh, thanks, thanks Lauren, Lauren September. Hi, Thank Lauren. you. Hey, I'm going to need an Uber. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got to do this thing on this show that we do every time called Rash Judgments. What is that? Well, there are a lot of movies coming out this weekend in the multiplexes. And right. how do you choose? Ugh. How do you choose? There's so many. We can do, help. Yeah, we can help. She, Camden is correct. We can help you figure it out. Have we seen the movies? No. Mm. We Much have like gut you. instincts. Yeah, we have gut instincts like you, the regular person. We're regular people, mm -hmm. and we're going to tell you whether or not you should go see movies based only on our dickish opinions. We haven't seen the movies. We don't know. We maybe watch trailers. Camden Singer, what do you got for a rash judgment? Ghostbusters. Mm. Oh, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Bill Murray, great. Dan Aykroyd, great. Not actually, it's a women Ray cast. Ray Parker Jr. Ray women. Parker Jr. Ernie women. Hudson. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Kristen Wiig. Harold Ramis. Melissa McCarthy. Wait. Oh. Kristen Wiig? Yeah. No? You mean from uh, yeah. uh, Bridesmaids? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. You mean Kristen Wiig from MacGyver? They would, mm -hmm. they would never put they Kristen Wiig. <laughs> Right. <laughs> McCarthy. Then people, what? McCarthy. As in Melissa? Mm-hmm. Not Cor Kevin. Cormac? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. So all women. Just kicking we'll ass. Stop. Wait a second. It's kick as if it's as if the Hollywood machine could give a fuck about my childhood. I you put a bunch of women in Ghostbuster roles, you're trampling on my childhood. Sorry. Somehow so you're sorry, ruining guys. everything. Oh, no. Well, oh. actually, we could be just creating new memories. Here we go. Creating new memories. So oh. What do you think? <laughs> Run, I can't wait to see it. Oh, I can't Neither. wait to see it. Hi, yeah. <laughs> I was so excited. Like, I, you, you, yeah, you I'm you kind want of to excited. See it too. I yeah. do want to see it. Yeah. I just and I want it to be so fucking good. So good. I want it to be funny every minute. I want it to laugh a minute. Well, and I, 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 I expect it. Because okay, you know okay. why? Why? Because there are women instead of men. It's true. It's true. Men it's are true. laugh every two to three minutes. Was bridesmaids laugh mm -hmm. a minute for you? Funny. No. I but like Spy how was. Spy was laughing. Spy was funny. I love Spy. Yeah. She puts her husband in all of her movies. I love that. Right? It is sweet. Like, I think that that's pretty darn amazing. Yeah. That is very cool. She's a sugar mama? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> she is a sugar mama. I think so. So, um, just basically on that alone. <laughs> <laughs> recommend. I mean, that's come on. Totally she fair. like slimed. Like, we gotta see women get slimed. Fuck that's yeah. That's so true. Okay, that's. Is that weird? I mean, no, I think can, that'll get the guys on board. I've been watching that. <laughs> I've been watching that on the internet for years. Yeah. But I see your point. See my point. <laughs> Absolutely. I I can't wait. No, I, I can't agree. Wait. All right, so that's. Let's do it. That's thumbs up for Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Ladies, don't fuck this up. Don't. 
don't, or they're not going to let us do it. Kate McKinnon. One. They won't be fucked up. I love Kate McKinnon. So. Yeah, no, it's going to be, it's going to be killer. Everyone knows uh, who's in this one. Yeah, and yeah, Spy was. Did you see Spy? I did. Oh, oh I just saw it. Spy is fucking hilarious. So good. And if I it's like that her. funny, then we're good. I yeah. like then we're her. good. I like her a lot. Melissa and McCarthy. I mean, yeah, I say good. I say that as it's just her movie all by herself. But <laughs> she, I mean, well, I read an interview with her, and the interviewer was like, "Do you feel like you have to be team captain?" And I was like, "Whoa, that's a bold statement in a movie with like Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie." She Jones. has to be team yeah. captain. Well, no, I mean, I think they're all pretty heavy hitters, but the interviewer yeah. asked her that, right? Which is, just shows what a powerhouse she is, I think. That they would just yeah. assume well, she's the that biggest she was... box office of all. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. But I, I think in the in, in a room you would, I mean, I don't know about Kristen Wiig and all those cats, but I think you would gravitate towards what's Melissa want me to do because she's very charming. That's yeah. true. She's very charming. Or she appears to be because we don't. I mean, I've not met her. Have you met her? I have I met her. I auditioned yeah. for her. She did not cast me, but I'm mm, still going to see Ghostbusters. <laughs> you fucking bitch! No, 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 no. Wow. We canceled that. We no. canceled that. Oh, we canceled that because he may want to see you again. I yeah. meant to call you an asshole. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I met, I, that was just a, like movie. taking no, back was, my misogynistic. It was a fun Everyone bit. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Skelton, what's your rash judgment? I don't want to do rash judgment. I don't have a rash judgment. Oh, why do I have to do a rash judgment right, every right, time? All right, all right, all right, all right, why fine. can't you just get Falk on the phone again and all have right, him do let's one? Let's have Falk on the phone. Here's he Falk so on the phone. He's doing a show. Hey, kids, do you like super proficient filmmakers? Yeah. Do you like old guys? Yeah. Do you like potential child molesters? No. no. Do you like period films? You're going to love, then, Cafe Society. Woody Allen's oh. 193rd okay, yeah. feature. Starring Jesse Eisenberg and Blake Lively. It's a period movie about old Hollywood. Eisenberg comes to Hollywood. Steve Carell's in it. Eisenberg wants to like be a writer or something. And uh, I don't know. There's some studio hijinks and there's some girls and there's some nice dresses and there's some some funny old Hollywood shit. Um, will I see this? I don't know. Probably not. But if you're a Woody Allen completionist. Or a Blake Lively completionist, and you already saw The Shallows. Maybe you go see Cafe Society. I don't know. I'm not you. <laughs> it's true. Helpful. Yeah. Very helpful. It's true. Well, we're yeah. so glad you didn't do one. Just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for not um, stepping up. Good. Thank you. Uh, that thanks made me so want to man. stab my eyes out. Um, <laughs> Also, Melissa McCarthy, I'm really sorry. I was just kidding. Tess Barker, what is your rash judgment? <laughs> I have The Infiltrator, the new Brian Cranston uh, joint. Cranston. Uh, Cranston. <laughs> that does sound like a name that you would like. It's like a husband's name. Cranston, get in here. Get in here. Cranston. <laughs> uh, Take out the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so the the new Cranston movie is, uh, is The Infiltrator, and he plays, a, it sounds like an, like an FBI mole. Uh, on the hunt to catch Pablo Escobar oh. of Narcos fame for you oh. Netflix aficionados. <laughs> uh, we had a discussion before we thought possibly it was El Chapo. We've confirmed that it was, that it was Pablo Escobar who yeah, gets busted no. in The Infiltrator. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that I feel like this movie, like it's so reeks of my boyfriend that I'm trying to be optimistic that they all <laughs> like it too. <laughs> Because I know I'm going. Uh, I mean, we've got someone from Breaking Bad. We've got drug dealers. Like, I'm going. Uh, uh, And I think it looks fun. Brian Cranston is obviously a phenomenal actor. Uh, Pablo Escobar, compelling compelling figure in history. Great drug dealer. Great, Great, wonderful drug dealer. dealer. Yeah, Yeah. great drug dealer of of history. Um, I love this coke. Yeah. (laughs) I loved his early stuff, his marijuana. Uh, (laughs) You're like a hipster for drug dealers. Yeah. I like his early stuff. (laughs) I was into drugs before they were cool. (laughs) But his ecstasy was bullshit. (laughs) A lot of speed in that. Uh, My big fear with this, though, I feel like movies like this a lot of times are, are not edited short enough. Mm, like this sure. movie feels like it has the potential to be one of those movies that has like eight endings, uh-huh. which yeah, is a yeah. huge pet peeve of mine. Uh, that's my only reservation though, but I think, you know, I think it'll be well acted and, and somewhat of an interesting story. Just to clarify, so you weren't into the Lord of the Rings Return of the King? I hate Lord of the Rings <laughs> so <laughs> much. That's fair. Okay. So much. Yeah, yeah, for that reason. It's a all Return ending. of the King. The word, in the last like, hour, it's just the end. It's all ending. It's like making a loaf of bread out of just the heel. But there's so, <laughs> but there's so much, there's so much running in those movies. 
and yeah, I like running with Shakespeare. Just places. <laughs> They run to places. There's always, but to me, that's every Lord of the Rings movie. There's always running to meet some other goblin. I hate all of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but would, would you prefer that it it was like long and drawn out, or it's a really wonderful movie and then they just end it? Really wonderful movie and they just end it. I'm. I don't like those. Those movies piss me off. Really? When they end it. Too when they fast? just end it, you're just like, really? I mean, really? You you had this beautiful story and then all of a sudden it's over. How would you feel over. about Lost in Translation? It was the worst I liked of the Lord it until of the, the Rings end. movies. <laughs> Easily. Yeah, they went way off the rails with that. <laughs> they never even found the Ice Queen. Yeah, they are when, when is Bill Murray getting to Mordor? Bill, Bill Murray doesn't look anything like a hobbit. Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so would you see it? Mm. You're gonna see it. I'm going to. Yeah. I know I'll be to. going, yeah. and um, and I think I'll be happy about it. I think I'll enjoy it. Yeah. So yeah. there you have it. If you have a boyfriend, go see Cranston's <laughs> are you latest looking film. For a boyfriend? If you yeah. uh, are whatever, you should go see Ghostbusters. Yes. And uh, Woody Allen can go fuck himself. <laughs> That's rash judgment. There you go. Now, uh, we, this is a show. Okay, God, you guys, and we don't do this fucking shit for free. We do. Well, we yeah. gotta make monies. And in order to make money, you're gonna have commercial breaks. Oh yeah. Oh, we're having a commercial. We break. got our uh, first ever sponsor in. Uh, uh, it's a trailer, yeah. I guess. That I'm told uh, for a picture, like a movie, Ooh. like a sci-fi movie Ooh. picture. Of some kind. Oh, like one of those. Uh, is it like a really exciting kind of cutting edge, almost art house sci-fi? Yeah. So like hard sci-fi, like that. Yeah. What's that Scarlett Johansson movie where she uh, uh, is naked lures and guys she in lures the, guys into yeah, black goo? Flux. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> She's correct. That was so Aeon Flux is what I was thinking of. They're not sponsoring either. here. No, Aeon no, Flux is not <laughs> sponsoring, but this we is a new sci-fi movie, and what should we do, Skelton? What God, should we do? God, you guys, it's, we should just roll it! Woo. I need something great to happen, you know? Oh, yeah, like getting a new uh, car stereo? Uh, something bigger than that. Mm. Ooh, she looks like she might need some help. Mm -hmm. Hey, now just wait here until I get back. Okay. Excuse me, are you lost? Um, hello? Um, you okay? Apologies. I needed a few seconds to process. I have just learned your entire language. I may speak with you now. I am from another galaxy. Uh-oh. Did you get hit in the head? I thought you wouldn't believe me. Oh, holy moly! I, I'm, I'm blown away! Of course you are. Would you help me on my mission? Hell yeah! Hell yes! Yes, I will help you on that mission! Let's go do this mission! Let's pound that mission into the ground and hump it like it's a chair! Let's drive that mission home, baby! You know what I mean? You know what the hell I mean? Let's do this! Yes! Yes! Now! Let's do it! My people have sent me on a journey to other galaxies to study the storytelling techniques of alien species. Yeah, I can do that. I can absolutely do that. I was born to do that. Let's go, right now. Uh, when do you think you might be back? This is a movie theater. It's where all our stories are told. Amazing. Yeah, come on, this way.
tell me of your stories. What? She means, what's playing? Oh, well, I mean, there's a giant digital marquee right there, but if you can't be bothered to read that, we've got Marvel's Captain America Super Wars, Marvel's Iron Man Iron Fist, Marvel's Arbitrary Superhero Guy, DC's Look Who's Fighting Now, starring Bruce Willis as the inner voice of Superman. Oh, and uh, for the blue hairs, there's a little art house picture called Remains of the Day 6, Even More Remains. Where shall we start? I don't know. Marvel? Can't wait. I am super happy for both of you. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I have traveled all over this universe and I have never experienced such convoluted storytelling. I didn't know who any of those people were. Well, it helps if you've seen the 47 movies before it. And you know, it doesn't hurt if you've read the comic books. I don't know, maybe check out an internet chat room or something? I just wanted to be told a story. I shouldn't have to do years of research in order for it to make sense. I developed technology to tra traverse space. That should be enough. I'm going home, where the characters are well thought out, the stories are linear, and there are more roles for women. Hey, safe travels. God, you've been gone a long time. I've had woo, way too much coffee. I had the weirdest day. Where did you go? Have you seen the new Captain America movie? Oh my God, it's great! It's my favorite movie of all time. When Ant-Man shows up and he's gigantic and he's huge, but he's Ant-Man, but he's big instead of a little, and then the, uh, Spider-Man shows up and they might and they get him and it, and it's crazy. I couldn't believe it all took place at an airport. Why would it take place at an airport? It couldn't have been a real airport. They can't shoot at a real airport. It must have all been CG. It's a CG special airport because if it was a real airport and the superheroes fought at the airport, it would shut down the airport. It would shut down all the airports. Immediately, all flights would be grounded. No one would be getting out. Oh my God. You okay? Holy mackerel, wow. that looks like some mind-blowing science fiction. Classic. Uh, Classic. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank the makers of the film and the studios and the marketing department for choosing our show yeah. to commercialize your art house film in. Is that it's the right? weird. It's weird that like this is the only venue they've chosen to advertise <laughs> this movie on. Super weird. You think they'd want a, a wider swath <laughs> of people, but they just want... It's like they want, want more you. people to they know about They just want you. They just want you, <laughs> they just want you guys. <laughs> Because you guys are all that matters. That's all they want. We love you. And you we, guys are the ones that are going to see this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys should go see this. Support it's the It's really arts. good. <laughs> really good. Um, so that brings us to the end of our show. Oh, no. Uh, I'd like to thank, of course, Steve Falk uh, for filling in for Steve Skelton, who's actually here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But refused yeah. to do a rash judgment. So. I did, and I do not regret it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Falk, now. for doing that. Steve Skelton, thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, did a great job, except for the rash judgment. You sort of bailed out on that. Even that, that was, I think, a pretty good job. Uh, guest, co guest co host Camden Singer, thank you very much thank for you. being here. Very well. uh, is there anything uh, we should tell the people that they should look out for other than uh, you and Annabelle? And Annabelle. The original Annabelle. <laughs> the original, Annabelle yeah. 2 is coming out. Will you be, Which I'm, no, my she, voice will not be in you that. You were not asked mm. back. Uh, I wasn't. For Annabelle 2. Well, because I already sold the doll. Oh, did uh, I just ruin that? Oh, oh spoiler. Spoilers. Hashtag spoilers. Jesus. Someone has to buy it. <laughs> that, that doll's got to get into the, that home somehow. Yeah. You guys, listen, once this is over, listen to Lady to Lady. 
Tess Barker is uh, the co-host of that podcast. She's a great uh, stand-up comic. You can see her uh, around Los Angeles uh, elsewhere as well. Yeah, I just, travel. Just follow she me travels. on Twitter, Testify Barker. Yeah. I post my show dates there. Yeah, go to Twitter, find her, mm -hmm. go to her shows. Very funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been your host, Todd Anderson. And uh, uh, until next time, this concession stand is closed due to health code violations. violations. Bye! Mm.